you're still watching ways now today is open that bottle night it was first celebrated in the year 2000 it was created by two writers of the wine column in the wall street journal dorothy j gator and john Bircher. the day celebrates that wine is not just a liquid but it's about all the important things in life about history geography relationship memories and more it is celebrated by opening that bottle of wine that you've been saving for a special occasion yes. and raising your glasses. All right, ladies, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Although this is not wine. Please, this is not alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> you think I get there, is, there is alcoholic wine and, and non-alcoholic non -alcoholic wine. wine. Okay. So, I have, I have As a friend. As a wine lover. <laughs> yes, I have a friend who considers all non-alcoholic wine juice. Juice, of course it is. There's nothing you're telling me. He'll just tell you that they are not wine. Why? Because yeah. it's not um, yes, liquor? Yes, that if it's not... If it's so not alcoholic, no, then it's not then wine. Then it's not wine. Yeah, wow. it's, just, it's just fruit juice. Just call it juice. Expensive fruit juice. <laughs> <laughs> Is, okay. So how is the wine business? Uh, the wine business is on its own. I'm not interested in wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. You don't do wines, actually. I don't do uh, wines at all. Yeah, you don't do wine. <laughs> I you won't do say what I ones. do. <laughs> <laughs> I say what I do. <laughs> all right, so ladies, who's going first? Um, AK, what did you find for us in the news today? Okay, so today is uh, taken from the Saturday magazine of um, The Guardian. Okay. And it's a very interesting one. It says, borrowing from pension fund could compromise scheme and erode confidence, and, and that's from workers. Now, the African Development Bank has openly endorsed the idea of African countries spending part of their pension funds on infrastructure. And, and this was said in a close meeting by the president of African Development Bank, that is Dr. Akin Kumi Additional. And he was just saying, instead of us borrowing from the World Bank, we have this pool of funds, and I think about 10 trillion, Let's just use that and then, you know, do the things that we want to do and pay back. Oh, well, even me, I have high blood pressure. <laughs> yes, because considering the fact that you, you work so hard in your youthful years, mm. we have in, they've increased taxes, okay? What you have to fall back on is under threat. <laughs> and according to, according to the NLC, they said the Pension Act of 2014 provides for investment and not borrowing. So please, just stay. And I think immediately this was announced. Everybody is just protesting and shouting loud. Please no. stay away from our, our pension. pension. <laughs> and if we had, so if we had accountability of all the monies that we have been borrowing, or even see what it is doing for us, we would say, okay, no problem. We trust our government. But we know the story. That's not the story for today. But we know. And since you do not have confidence that people would effectively put that money, so please. Please go and get money from anywhere else. Just leave our leave pension, our pension alone. alone. In fact, <laughs> stay, away yeah. stay away from our pension. Stay away from our pension. In fact, don't even think about <laughs> it. I'm so passionate about this. Why? I'm, I'm so happy I didn't take it because at the end of the day, the government will borrow this money and you know they will not give it back. So that maybe they will give you one other story. We've lost confidence in government. Well. We, we still have some good guys there. So. We, we still we still have Hopefully some good guys. Hopefully they would have yeah, a few good guys. And we are still recovering money for some people. people so right. which, so oh, we need been, to balance it. No, no, no. All the right. money that have been recovered, have you seen what they have Accountability okay. is a problem. Easy, right? let's have your story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> story. My story goes thus. That um, it's, it's just coming from Vanguard and um, Daily Post. It says, Falana accuses corrupt politicians of um, political elites of fueling religious intolerance. Mm. It also stated that it's government officials, not, it's not just the people, government officials. He s stated this at uh, the human rights, um, it's, you know, he's a... Uh, human right Falana, he's a yes, human, human rights, rights activist. activist yeah, he stated well. this at the UF UK Dialogue International Activist um, sorry, Conference on Love and Tolerance held in Lagos. That this is this is to state that he actually stated this because he stated that um, the the government is pitching the citizens against one another. We all serve in the same God, but at the end of the day, we are against each other irrespective of the fact that whether you're a Muslim or a Christian, the bottom line is that we are serving one supreme God and we have the same beliefs, we have the well, same traditions. I always say that if we take aside ethnicity and religion, mm -hmm. I think we'll be a better 
And that's why you can't take it as yeah. yeah. then somebody so definitely moves. because somebody will definitely continue to use those as tools, as tools you know, to, to divide, divide us. us. Yeah. Okay. All right, my, so my story is um is rather a sad one because I heard the news yesterday. Mm -hmm. I am married married to Adamawa people. Okay. <laughs> and we, oh. we come from Garkida and mm -hmm. um Yesterday, in our family group, the pictures were sent and um, uh, of an attack by Boko Haram in in Garkida. Garkida is, I mean, they used to pride it like you know, a London kind of setting, very quiet, wow. lovely place, and mm -hmm. all of that. And the vice president, former vice president, sorry, Atiku Abubakar, also has lamented on this attack and condemned it. You know, mm -hmm. so according to the reports that I gathered from this um, story. It was learned that you know this attack was specific to prominent houses you know in fact to the point that the people that were employed as vigilante local vigilantes were the ones pointing which houses wow. you know they would wow. burn and all of that wow. so i mean i was just having a conversation with my husband earlier today i was saying what would have cost all of this you know wow. so because the, the the people are saying that there's a lot of poverty so and it doesn't seem like there's any hope anywhere so some of these people boko haram is much more attractive in terms of the financial gain for <laughs> them you know so when our leaders are not focusing on um how to kill or sorry how to empower the, the, the very i mean i don't need to know anybody reduce to reduce our rate. poverty um, no. index I, you know, the ripple effect is beyond all of this. Now, there's a high rise in kidnapping. Even um, Kaduna State Government was, I was reading uh, uh, another similar story Sorry. about kidnaps and all of that, that all the roads right now, it is, there's a particular road on a daily basis. People wow. are being kidnapped. You are being, I mean, I mean they, they have the infantry, they do it at, uh, uh, with broad, broad daylight, daylight and all of that. Mm -hmm. So I think um, we should just try as much as possible as a people to begin to care for one another. When we love each other, we'll fight it together. Let's not go across those divisions and let's focus on what is big. The, the enemy is the, these people and we, we have to do it together as a team. You know, oh, that's, that's, all so, I can say. that's so frightening. It's, it's so frightening, frightening to think that you're not safe. Yeah, Garkida is and one of like the um, very peaceful, very peaceful people. They burnt the, a lot of churches, a lot of homes. You know, it was really, 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 so really a tough one. So that brings to mind the issue yeah. of insecurity in the country. Yeah, wow. as well. All right. So today, if you are in Lagos, <laughs> I'm sure traffic is no news for you, and we have no better person to discuss this than the boss himself. Engineer Olajide Odudoye. He will join us right after the break. Please stay with us.